After the entire window has been assembled, then I'm ready to begin the next step in the process. And that step is soldering. Soldering is important because it holds the whole structure together. And it's also important because the soldering joints are visible in the final product. The first step is going to be to take a wire brush and, or steel wool and steel wool and wire brush the, all of the lead down to clean metal. Because sometimes during a fabrication, especially a big one, it may have been sitting on the table for several days during the process of fabrication. And during all of that time, the lead is beginning to oxidize. So all of that has to be taken off so that everything is down to clear metal. The next step is going to be to use a non-acid based flux. That is, a chemical cleaner directly on the soldering joints because the soldering joints need to be chemically cleaned in addition to being scrubbed with the steel wool in order to accept the solder. So having the metal be extremely clean is one of the two factors that you have to consider when you're soldering a window. The other factor is how hot your soldering iron is. You really want a hot iron. Your iron will cool down as you use it considerably so that every few times you melt solder on a joint, it's cooled down and it will really need to recuperate a little bit to bring it back up to temperature. So what I do usually is I use two soldering irons at a time. I do a few joints with one and then a few joints with another, alternating back and forth so that I always have a really hot iron. So in that way, I'm going to apply the iron briefly to the lead to heat it up and then I'm going to roll the solder off the tip of the iron right onto the lead and it's going to flow right on there because the lead is nice and warm and it's also nice and clean. And I'm going to do every soldering joint on the window until the entire network is one single integrated unified piece of metal that is holding all of these glass pieces together. The next thing we're going to do is get really dirty. And in fact, we're going to get so dirty we're even going to put on gloves because this is truly the messy part of doing it. And this is puttying. And the puttying part of the project is a really important part because what you're going to do is you're going to take in your glazing putty and we use DAP 1012 most of the time and there's also other products that we use that are even a little more advanced and specialized for stained glass work. You're going to take this putty and you're going to push it underneath the edges of the lead on every single piece all the way around so that all the space and all the gap that there is inside the channel where the glass sits inside the lead is completely filled with this putty. And then the next step is going to be to come back and to peel out all the excess. We use an X-Acto knife with the blade turned backwards in there and it gives you a nice little shovel shaped um, tool that is perfect for riding along the edges of the lead and peeling up the excess putty. Now after you've got all of the excess putty up, you're ready for the next step. And that step is going to be putting on the plaster and whiting, which you will scrub with a brush on every single piece all the way around on every single piece of lead. By the time you're done with your uh, whiting step, your window is going to be completely clean and ready to go. But there's a couple steps in between there before you actually get there to the end. So once you've got your whiting on there, of course you've really got a mess. Now you've got to clean up all of that plaster that's all over your window. So you're going to start out initially by using your vacuum cleaner and you're going to vacuum up all of the excess plaster. But that's still going to leave you with a little bits of plaster and putty that are stuck in every single corner and every single edge all the way around the, the window and every single piece. So what you're going to have to do now is take a pencil with a sharp point on it and you're going to go around every single piece paying special attention to the corners to get all the last little bits of putty and plaster out of the corners. Once you do that, you have the window sprinkled with little pieces of putty which you can vacuum up again with your vacuum cleaner. And so now you've got the window almost clean except there's still some residue going to be left on the centers of the pieces of glass. 
And what you're going to have to do then is you're going to have to get out your putty brush and without a put, putting additional whiting on, you're going to scrub the entire window, all of the lead and all of the glass with your putty brush and then you're going to take out your vacuum cleaner one more time and vacuum up all the little dusty residue that's created as a result of that. And at that point, your glass is going to be absolutely clean and dust and oil free. Your lead is going to be black and dry and clean and your, win your window is going to be ready to turn over onto the other side and begin the process of soldering, cleaning, puttying, whiting, and completing. Thank you.